My mom is in debt and I am afraid her solution will be my doom. I need advice. First off, I'm using my mobile app, sorry for format errors. 2ndly, I'm mentally processing as I write this, so, sorry for rambling and any grammar, spelling errors that will definitely be in this post. 3rdly, I posted under r, personal finance as well for the money questions, but here for relationship advice. Our finances got entangled about two years ago, when my mom, I'm not allowed to say age, f, asked if I, 37 f, would co-sign with her so she can refinance her house. Basically mom wanted to reduce her monthly payments. She's living mostly off social security and apparently that wasn't enough income for a lender to agree to refinance, hence her request. At that time I was very hesitant, but after she assured me she can cover her bills and promised she would give me warning should she run into trouble, I reluctantly agreed. Honestly, I felt guilted into it. But considering she had great credit due to years of on-time payments and reducing her monthly mortgage payment would lighten her financial load, I couldn't think of a reason to say no. Now, I'm not poor per se, but I have been living pretty much paycheck to paycheck. This last year I moved to a cheaper place, but in a more questionable location and finally started building that emergency fund those financially smart people rave about. Every once in a while mom would call me to help with a bill, but otherwise she seems to have everything handled. Things seem to be fine. Skip to early 2020, mom doesn't have money to cover property tax, it's not rolled into the mortgage payments per mom's request because the city offers a discount if you pay them directly. Shit. That's a lot of money because it's the full annual amount, since mom missed the partial payment deadline. I pay it. Goodbye emergency fund. A few months later mom needed money, reason undisclosed. Apparently I needed to, trust her, I sent the requested money. A few months later, she confesses she got involved with a scam but she's ended it. She needs more money to help recover from the damage the scam did. I send the requested money. I get another call, she needs a couple hundred in the same day, urgently. I tell her I cannot get her the money the same day. Either she has to wait or she can ask a family friend who I will reimburse later they live in her state. She goes to the family friend. During all this time I'm trying to get details out of her but she is stubborn and sticks to vague answers, claims she too tired to go into it, or accuses me of not trusting her. I'm secretly hoping the family friend will get more info out of her. Family friend gets a long story, but no details. I'm sure you've already guessed where this is going. After a few more urgent bills, which I pay directly, she informs me she can't pay the October mortgage. Shit. I can't afford my rent, bills and her mortgage. But COVID is going on, and Congress passed a CARES Act. I contact the lender, we are now in forbearance. With a balloon payment at the end. I've had enough. I call her and after 5 hours of me refusing to let her avoid telling me what's going on I have a better idea of her income, although not details. She's purposefully vague, I'm pretty sure I know her bills and debts, and I have a clearer picture of what happened, but I know she is withholding information. Which seems I will never get out of her until, the time is right. Whenever that is. From what I can figure this is mom's story. 1. She was a victim of a couple scams. 2. Either as part of the scams, or as a desperate attempt to stay afloat she's taken out multiple payday, speedy loans. 3. Due to suspicious activity her bank closed her account and she lost some money for the bank's fees. Here I am, basically getting myself hunkered down. I've given myself pep talks, you can't take on all her problems, focus on her needs, i.e. water, heat, etc. and the mortgage, don't let your financial future get fucked because you're too nice, etc. I'm also trying to figure out a way to cover that balloon payment. Last week, mom says she wants to refinance again. The interest rates are lower now apparently. But the lien the city has on the house will no longer be subordinate, so it will have to get absorbed by the mortgage. This will make the projected monthly payment larger than it is now, but it's okay, it'll just be tough for a little while until we can refinance again. Now, granted mom wasn't very forthcoming so I'm not 100%, but from my calculations, mom must have been a goddamned magician to cover all her bills as they are currently. Not including all the extras she's implied she would like me to help pay, storage unit, two worldwide phone plans for her mobile, a car maintenance club, life lock, life insurance, maxed credit cards, and all those speedy loans. How she figures she can cover an even larger mortgage payment is boy on me. Then she calls me today. 
she's working with someone who's been like her personal champion advocate. Champion has wrestled with the bank and Champion is the reason they gave some of her money back, minus some fees. Champion is also working with the police and mom's all for that. Never mind that when I tried to get a police report going mom refused to provide me with enough, any, details, and apparently, my mom says she got scammed, isn't enough to go on. I'm not bitter, why do you ask? Anyway, Champion seems to be genuine in their desire to help and if mom found someone she can confide in, that's awesome. However, Champion has presented mom with the idea of brokering deals with all her debtors and then rolling all of the residual debt in with the refinanced mortgage. Refinancing doesn't work without me due to her income and credit it scored dings from the speedy loans not getting paid. My brain went blank. I got off the phone and have been silently freaking out since. I feel so much guilt because I want to help my mom. I might be overreacting, but this genuinely worries me, for very selfish reasons. I guess I'm not sure how to say, no, or how this will affect our relationship, or just what's the right path forward. TL, doctor, mom got into financial trouble, not entirely her fault, and racked up debt. Now she wants to consolidate her debt in a refinanced mortgage, with me a co-signer. I don't want to co-sign, again, just to take on more of her debt. I also want to take care of her. I apologize for being lame. It's past my bedtime and I've tuckered myself out writing this, so I'm going to post this and sign off. Edit. I'm blown away. I see a lot of you have kindly taken the time to reply and message me. Thank you. I've slept in, so I won't be able to respond to much before I start work, but I'll do my best to read and respond to questions and comments on my breaks and after work. You are being scammed by your mom. Do not give her a dollar more. Get out of any entanglement you have with her and try to maybe live your life because if you continue like this you are going to die with more debts than your mom. Mom, I've done enough. Your bad decisions are destroying my future. Yeah. You have to tell her no. Just flat out refuse. Tell her you're broke and at this rate you won't be able to pay rent. And are going to be evicted. My mother did the same thing at one point. I lost it on her. I just told her. I'm not going to end up homeless, just so I can support you. She was mortified. But she stopped she even gave me some money back. I'm 38, and this is the time when we need to be paying off our own mortgages so we have something for our retirement. So I would personally shout don't to IT but there is a second option. Get on the title. Don't be just a cosigner, make sure you're a part owner. Or buy it entirely and have her pay you rent, and evict if she doesn't. You're already a cosigner. You're not coming off that without a refinance. So you'll have to refinance to come off it but use that to your advantage and get ownership. You're already stuck paying, you should at least get the house from it. Oh honey I'm so sorry. I wish I could give advice but unfortunately all I can say is it definitely sounds like she's depending on everyone else for the most part. If you keep helping her she's going to drain you of everything you ever save and you'll never be able to move to a better area or get ahead in life because you're too busy trying to support her. I really do hope it gets better for you and I'm sorry that you have to go through this. Look up APS for your county and request an evaluation on your mom. Tell them she's been scammed and refusing to give you details, and that you're concerned that this, champion, might be more of the same. Then, get off her mortgage, by any means possible. If this is new behavior, you might need to consider if your mom is in the beginning stages of dementia. Say no. If she says, you don't trust me, be honest. Tell her, of course I don't. I co-signed on your refinanced last time and now I've sank $4x into you not telling me anything about where it's going until this moment. You're thrice bitten and still you hesitate. Cut the cord. Your mom is on her own. You can't help her without her cooperation. She has demonstrated she can't handle her own financial problems. If she doesn't come clear to you, you can't help her. She's just dragging you into a hole. Why? For shame. For pride. There's no place for that in her situation. Also it seems you have a better understanding of how to handle the financial situation. She needs to let you call the shots. Don't let her control you. She makes wrong decisions and you have to pay for her mistakes. It doesn't seem like a healthy relationship. You should probably freeze your credit as well, in case she tries to open credit cards in your name. Why can't she get a job, like you have, apparently for almost the sole purpose of helping her? Your mother is acting extremely shady, and for your own well-being, you need to stop helping her. She's an adult, but she's not self-sufficient yet. 
If you keep pouring money down the drain with no explanation you're going to end up like her. I don't believe she's telling you the truth about scams. Her history shows she is a very irresponsible when it comes to finances. You have helped her as much as you can. Why does she have two international phone plans? Why does she have a storage unit? Why does she have maxed out credit cards? She needs to sell the stuff in the storage unit and pay you back. She's forcing you to give up your future for her comfort. It's hard to stomach but she's using you as a human piggy bank. She doesn't really care about your relationship, just the financial leverage you can provide. The house needs to be sold to pay her debts and she needs an apartment she can afford. That also gets you out of being co-signer. It also gets rid of surprise tax bills and that lien. She can't afford the house period. Then you need to stop enabling her to play theses games. You aren't going to be able to build a relationship while she's using you like this. I suggest you talk to a lawyer about forcing her to sell the house. Then you can build a relationship after you aren't financially entwined. Cut her out. Just, cut her out. She's been given multiple times to explain and has refused. Any detailed explanation you get I guarantee will be a lie. This relationship is past the point of redemption. She dug her own grave and is dragging you into it. Cut. Her. Out. Entirely. No contact. No birthday calls. No. Call to see if she's okay. You clearly don't deal with guilt very well. And you know what they say. Out of sight. Out of mind. Cut contact entirely, remove her from your social media feeds and block her on everything, otherwise she's just going to guilt you into paying again. Do you want to help her? List the house for sale and let her move in with you. It's painfully obvious she's reached a point in her life where she no longer has the mental capacity to take care of herself. Yea don't give her any more till she tells you the whole truth. She needs to sell her house and downsize. There's no other way forward here. You need to talk to a financial advisor ASAP. Do not give your mom money. She is going to be your doom because already you've almost sunk yourself because of her bad finances. Cut her off. Talk to someone that can help you. You need to know your options and stop taking your mom's word on anything. You need to stop mingling your finances with her. What about selling her house and downsizing? Mom's taking advantage of you here, I'm sorry. You'll have to tell her you can't put yourself at risk to keep her ass out of the fire. She's in a mess of her own making and you've gone above and beyond trying to bail her out, you gotta take care of yourself. Not to mention rolling that debt into the mortgage isn't a super smart idea. Tell your mom that without complete disclosure you can't refinance. Super simple, stop giving her money. She is a grown woman she get herself out of the mess she created. Remove yourself from her loan ASAP. You. Can't give your mom's age on an anonymous internet forum. Your problems go even deeper than finances. Honey stop. Contact the bank because you are a co-signer and find out what's going on. Do not give her another penny. Your mother has lived her whole life making poor decisions. Just because she gave birth to you doesn't mean you owe her anything. You've done enough. Please please put yourself first going forward. She's created her life so you don't have anything to feel guilty about. Good luck. How is it not entirely her fault? She's falling for scams. You shouldn't trust her. Either she can manage her own affairs or she can't. If she can then she needs to stop asking you for money for non-necessities. If she can't then she needs to turn it all over and you can decide what she can afford. You do not co-sign more debt because she can't manage to not fall for scams. Is she living above her means? If she was a good mom then make sure she has necessities. Do not destroy your life trying to give her a standard of living that you can't afford. My god, get the fuck out while you can. Stop giving your mom money FFS and never sign anything for her again. Sorry if that sounds harsh but it's the truth, your mother should be helping and taking care of you when you need it, not the other way around. At least not till she can't take care of herself. Don't let her guilt you, it's not your responsibility no matter what she say to you. Never fucking cosign for anyone. There's a reason they can't get a loan. You need to step away from this op. Your mom isn't even being open and honest about her finances and keeps getting into financial trouble. Honestly you should have checked out a while ago but I get it, it's really hard to say no to your mom but you need to do it. Cut her off. You need to have your own life. She shouldn't be living in your dorm. There are refuges, hostels and homeless shelters. There are jobs. She is using you. If you can't bring yourself to say no, don't answer at all. Don't see her, 
Don't call, don't answer. Don't open the door. Your mum may be the victim of a few scams but you are the victim of the biggest scam. Do whatever you can to disentangle your financials, speak to charities local to you for advice. You need to set boundaries with your mum that you will have nothing to do with her financially anymore, and then see where the relationship goes from there, how she reacts. I feel like our moms are very similar. I'm in a milder situation, but pretty much all of my savings have gone on her. Right now, I'm working on getting my money back, any extra for the inconvenience is a bonus. The time, effort, tears and rage I'll never get compensation for, but I have a harsh lesson. Get out. Get out now. You are so damn young. Get your savings back in order, protect your credit score, and cut her off. If she loved you half as much as you care for her, she would want you to be financially stable. That is impossible when you're paying for her. Best of luck. I'm curious if she got involved in a dating scam, where she's sending money to a boyfriend in another country. IDK just a thought since you didn't mention a husband and she needs a worldwide phone account. Honestly I would make her sit down with you with all of her credit cards and bank statements. You really need to see where her money is going. Are you sure she isn't lying about this personal champion person? You wouldn't be living paycheck to paycheck if your mom wasn't putting you in this position. You need to set firm boundaries and stick to them. Your mom's the real scammer here. If you do this, you literally will have fallen into the same trap you're being salty about your mom with. Don't let your mom scam you. Stop helping her. She's already hurt your credit and she's bringing you down with her poor decisions. You need to help yourself first. Lock down your own credit and start learning to say, no, if need be, get a therapist to teach you how to do so. She needs to sell the house and pay you back what you are owed. It's too late now for you to hear this advice. But as a rule of thumb, I never loan money to anyone. If I want to give it away, that's my choice. But I never expect it back once it leaves my hands. This causes a lot less tension in my life with friends and relatives. In the future, absolutely never ever help family or friends out financially. Give money away that you feel comfortable giving. But never, help. Never. Because this is how it almost always goes down. My grandmother co-signed a loan for my scamming sister, and she was liable for the loan even to her death. My aunt fought very hard and finally had someone remove my grandma's name from the loan post-mortem so that her estate was protected, somewhat. Yep. Yep. That personal financial champion is just another fraudster. She should feel guilty about what she has done to you. No more money until you see the receipts, as they say on reality TV. You need to see where all the money has gone. Well, you are scammed by your mom. Do not give any more money and disentangle yourself from her ASAP. Tell her to either get you a copy of the police report, her bank statements and all her bills and income so you can review them before you agree to refinance. You need to evaluate her the same way the bank would. I suspect once you read everything, you'll find that she is probably still being scammed and throwing your money after bad. Helping your mother would be to downsize from that home and into something she can afford easily while rebuilding. If that means contacting the bank to do a short sale, renting it out until the debt is paid down while significantly cutting expenses, renting out rooms, etc. Either way it goes, your credit is about to take a hit. Don't help your fucking mom. She's toxic. Be selfish. It's your parents' responsibility to look out for you and help you, not the other way around. Why send her money in the first place without asking questions? That's really dumb op. After four years and more than $40,000 given to my mom to pay her loan in the past four years, in August the first had to say stop. I did and I feel much relieved and better. I always thought it was an obligation to give money to my mom, but thanks to therapy I realized it wasn't my fault if she ended up with $90,000 of debts. I'm in a similar situation myself. My mom keeps making me pay her utility bills even though I have no money to spare at all and she keeps lying about paying me back and she even used all of my financial aid for college last year on a house that ended up being a scam. Your mom's debt is actually entirely her fault. She needs to sell her house and move into assisted living, where she won't be repeatedly scammed. This is not your problem. When I was in college my mom would spend money, then cry and beg me for the bills. I always made it work. She would promise to pay me back and never did. She tells me my sister needs to take the day and it's due today so it has to be a check to the school knowing I don't even have checks. I tell her it's my food money so she has to pay me back. 
Turns out I'm left bumming leftovers from my friends for two weeks and my sister didn't even take the sat. Weirdly when I was out of money and finally her lights just stayed off for two days because A had nothing and neither did anyone else she, borrowed, from, she always figured it out. I was saving and just bought a used car cash. She asked how I did it and I explained that I'd been saving money. Now all of a sudden the water is off again. It doesn't help her to have you drowning too. She needs to refinance on her own or figure out a way to make the current rate work but you have nothing else left to give, especially when it doesn't entitle you to answers. Just be honest and say you don't have the resources to make it happen, because it will never end with just a signature. Also she will for sure end up losing the house and you can't be on the streets too, both drowning, so build up an emergency fund knowing that when shit does hit the fan you'll be a viable last resort. Sometimes it's best to give up on your parents, they are people like everyone else, some are good and some bad, some good with money and some are not but one this that is certain is that yours are not your responsibility and you have no obligation to help them if all they do is drag you down, if shutting the money valve is all it takes to get ties cut then maybe it is for the best. I feel bad for you. You're in a really bad spot right now. I co-signed one time in my life for somebody on 5k worth of furniture. He ended up selling all the furniture within 90 days and skipping town. I got stuck with the bill after I started getting collection calls. Never again. I've still helped people since then but never put my credit on the line. No. No no no. Oh honey, no. Get yourself untangled from this ASAP. 